Let's take these things apart and figure out where we're going to put all the pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is take the chanter out of the stock. If you do not have a chanter cap for your chanter, I would keep the chanter in the stock so that it keeps your chanter reed safe and uh, prevent it from chipping. But because I do have a chanter cap, I'm going to take the chanter out of the stock and I'll put the cap over top of it so that the reed doesn't get chipped. And this is a relatively new reed. I really like it. It's got a good sound to it. Very good on the top hand. And I'm a suck up for the top hand. <laughs> so I'll just tighten that up and uh, put it to the side. So I just give it a teeny pull on the, on the bottom, a very small teeny pull just to see that it's, um, it is secure. So that'll go to the side. Let's take the drones apart. I'll start with the drone tops and I'll put them to the side. The two top ones will come apart as well. Don't keep the two top parts together. The drone bottoms will come apart as well. So also take the drone reeds out. Even if you have cane reeds in here, it's best to take them out. So put the drone reeds to the side so that they don't get damaged or anything. You don't want the tongues to uh, get damaged because otherwise the, the tongues will have to be replaced and you just don't want to have to put up with that if possible. The drone reeds are to the side. I have the drones to the side as well. I'll put them over here. The blowpipe for me will stay in the stock. Why do I do that? Because the, the um, blowpipe stock or a blowpipe period will, um, the hemp on the blowpipe will contract and it will, um, uh, it'll, it'll, the swelling of it will go down and it'll get loose in the stock. That is not a good thing because it will result in air loss when you put it back in on your next uh, practice or play. So I keep that in and, um, it, and uh, it doesn't contract um, enough so that it causes an issue for like cracking. Uh, if you're worried about that, I've never had that issue with this. You may be asking why do we keep the, drone, the other drones in the stocks if we keep this one in? And that's a very good question. We keep this one in the stock because the moisture doesn't affect it as much. This, the moisture um, stays up here for the most part. But be, and because the the blow pipe, the uh, not blow pipe, the water trap that I have in, in here is connected to this. So this is mostly um, it has the most moisture. So the contraction will be very minimal to almost none, depending on um, whether you're a wet or dry blower. These drones will not um, get much uh, moisture on them. They're not really supposed to because that's the uh, water traps job is to keep these uh, drier. The hemp on the drones here will not um, uh, expand and contract as much because the air is only supposed to reach the drone reeds instead of the moisture. So that's why we don't keep these in the drones or we're not supposed to anyway. I also have a big uh, pipe egg cover on here. I encourage you to keep it on as it will help the pipe egg to retain the level of moisture in it so that when you bring the pipes to, um, out of the case later on and, and assemble them, they won't take as much time to get bring moisture into the bag from your mouth. You'll be able to play them a little bit easier in a shorter amount of time as they won't have um, dry it out as quickly. To put these things all into the um, uh, case, let's begin. So I'll keep that there for now, it'll be fine. Let's begin putting the bottoms of the drones into the case. I do have a uh, towel here, you can, ha you can have a blanket as well, it's up to you, it doesn't really matter as long as there's some sort of cushioning. I would highly encourage you to keep some sort of cushioning in here so that the drones don't um, bump together very much, especially if like you're in a car and you're going down a bumpy road, you know, going like this, then the drones and pipes won't um, uh, get damaged as, as much. I'm going to take the towel and I'll place the drones inside there and I'll kind of interlock them just for a little bit of added support. So I'll do that. So 
Okay, so they're like, so that'll do just fine. Next, I'll take the pipe bag and I'll put it on top of here. You don't have to worry about putting the blanket or towel over top of the other drone because this thing is pretty soft, right? It's a pipe bag, it's not, it's not hard. We'll put it in there like that. And um, before I move on, I'll put the chanter inside the um, case like this over top of the um, padding so that it's safe. And the drone tops will come over here. And because like I say, the pipe bag is quite soft and it's nice, easy material. I can put these on top of here. If you want to have an extra um, towel or two to wrap through these, that's perfectly fine. In fact, it's actually, it's actually um, uh, recommended and I'm gonna do that later myself. Um, just uh, that the other towel's in the wash right now. This is going to come over here. With the drone reeds, you can, if you don't have the original packaging from the manufacturer of the reeds, I took, I kept the styrofoam of the reeds and um, right now I actually have the, uh, my solar reeds in here and then I put my band reeds on the other side and I have elastic bands on here, which is honestly pretty low key. I will usually have these in a plastic bag just so that if the reeds happen to go a little bit um, all over the place and the elastics lose their um, strength that the reeds won't fly everywhere and possibly get damaged. So I'll put those to the side for now. With these, uh, drone, with the drone reeds, you can put them anywhere you want as long as they, um, you know, stay in one place and don't get damaged and, um, you know, get hurt. Essentially the same thing. Here's the next thing I want to discuss. Whether or not you should keep your um, pipe case open or closed. Let me explain why this is a big question. This is a big question because depending on where you are in the world, it might be, it'll be better to keep the bag closed or keep it open. If you're in a climate where there's a little bit more moisture in the air, like the Pacific Northwest of North America where I am, it can really depend on what the weather is like. So um, I like to see whether it's gonna be rainy or sunny, uh, you know, whatever. If it's going to be sunny and therefore probably drier, I'll keep the um, bag closed so that the moisture in the bag um, stays a little bit more in it and that way the pipes will be easier to play later on. If it's gonna be raining, um, snowing, you know, more precipitation, I'll keep the bag open, but I'll keep um, the pipes disassembled so I don't have any issues with the hemp expanding, uh, contracting, etc. That won't be a problem for me. If you are in a drier climate, I would keep the um, bag pipe disassembled in the bag and have the bag cover closed or the pipe case closed, uh, pardon me. And then that way your bag pipe will stay at the optimal playing quality that you set it to originally and it won't take as much time to return to that level of uh, optimal playing quality. I hope that this uh, video was helpful for you and full of some good information. If you like what uh, we're doing, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that when new videos go live, you are notified. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.